in the movie making industry, what would you say to Christians with regard to the need to infiltrate and move into positions of leadership rather than retreat? Uh, I would say, what did Jesus say in the Sermon on the Mount? Did he say, take your light and hide it under a bushel? Or did he say, let it so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven? Hey you guys, I'm Kirk Cameron and welcome to this special YouTube exclusive with the Kendrick Brothers. You know them from their films like War Room, Overcomer, Courageous, uh, some movie called Fireproof, I don't know, with some uh, handsome clean shaven guy, uh, and, and, and many more. <laughs> hey you guys, I wanna talk with you about something that you know so much about and from a, a, a faith perspective, I wanna know your opinion on some things. Um, first of all, why are movies and television important? Well, movies and television, so they, they they share stories, and stories are powerful. You know, I, I can remember some sermons I've heard over the years, but movies that I saw a decade ago, I still remember so specifically. Mm. And Jesus told stories in the form of parables to impart truth and draw people to truth. So that's one of the reasons we love telling stories. We love telling, and especially this one, Life Mark, that's coming out September 9th, is a true story, mm -hmm. one of the most powerful stories you could ever see on choosing life and the beauty of adoption. Can't wait for people to see it. So you guys started out as pastors. Uh, how did, why do you like making movies so much? I think it started with just, we loved watching them, uh, really good movies. If you think about the power of music, you know, it, to influence people, you think about the power of art, to influence people, you think about the power of story or example, you swirl all that together and you think, you know, God gave p people prophets in the Old Testament visions where they're seeing and hearing something. It's like he gave them a movie experience. They're moved emotionally, sometimes weeping over what's happened. And we now have in our generation the technology to swirl the arts, the music, story, example together. And just like Jesus did with the parables, to point people to wow. heaven's truth through an earthly yeah. context. And so we love being able to tell stories and to lead people to truth because lives can be transformed when they hear and believe the truth. And we have a generation that doesn't know what good fatherhood looks like. Oftentimes they've never seen a, a good marriage. They don't know what reconciliation looks like. There's so many of these truths that are communicated in scripture and we can show them like in Fireproof, when Caleb gets on his knees and apologizes to his wife, many men have never seen what it looks like to apologize. And to see the beauty of that example, many times people walk out of the theater and they say, the light bulb has gone on for me. I now know what I need to do when I go back to my life. That's awesome. And we made this movie Life Mark together, which is this great story about a young girl who was gonna get an abortion at the last moment. She rolled off the table, changed her mind, um, carried the child full term, placed him up for adoption. 19 years later, she gets the message that he wants to connect with her. She thinks that he probably hates her for abandoning him. He wants to thank her for giving him this life and this beautiful family. Uh, and there was a special scene in the movie that many people will pass right over if they don't understand the significance of who we cast in those roles. Can you just talk for a moment about that scene? Yeah, when we made this movie Life, Mark, and we got to include the real people that it was about, and it's in common roles that most viewers will initially miss. But as you're watching this powerful, true story, Life Mark, by the end of it, you're going to think that was incredible. And then you'll find out later after the movie that, that a certain person as the, as the uh, mom was in the film, the real person it was about, and her son is physically in the film. And you won't realize it at first, but you're, oh my goodness, so that person and that person were the real people. And um, so it was fun to do that, to include the real people and real families. And again, we, we can't wait for people to see it. There's multiple layers to this movie. You'll see it on the, on the surface level the first time you watch it. And it's just a beautiful story of life and of adoption, the fact that it's true. And then you'll start getting the layers underneath the more you learn about mm -hmm. the story. And it's just so enriching. And, and again, can't wait for people to watch Life, Mark. Comes out September 9th. That's awesome. Um, one last question. Uh, many people of faith 
want to have nothing to do with the filthiness of politics. They look at television and movies and they just say, why do you live in California? Get out of there. Get to God's country and, you know, uh, become a missionary or do something meaningful in your life. But you guys are doing something so meaningful. You're in the movie making industry. What would you say to Christians with regard to the need to infiltrate and move into positions of leadership rather than retreat? Uh, I would say, what did Jesus say in the Sermon on the Mount? Did he say, take your light and hide it under a bushel? Or did he say, let it so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven? He said, we are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. I love Romans 12, 21. I think about it every week. It says, do not be overcome by evil. You overcome evil with good. And so every generation really needs believers to rise up and for us to show them truth while they're hearing lies, for us to show love while they're modeling hate, for us to show healing and Uh reconciliation in a divisive world that's committed to death. And so I would want believers to reach out to me if I didn't know Christ and I didn't know God and I was in a toxic environment, not knowing where I came from, why I'm here or where I'm going. I would want people who do know the truth to reach out to me with love and compassion. And so it is our job as Christ's ambassadors to reach out to anybody anywhere with the gospel and with God's love. And we want to do that in every sphere of influence, whether it's entertainment, which is why we make movies, ministry, um, at the athletic field, the political field, and the cultural field. We, we want to go into each of these areas of influence and do this. And we need believers doing the same thing. Alex and Stephen, thanks so much for being here. And thank you for watching. Please share this with a friend and be sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video.